Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricardo, I'm an engineering student and a bullet journalist. So first of all, I want to say thank you to all of my Instagram followers. I've just reached 1,700 followers and it feels amazing. So thank you to all of you who um, follows me every day. So today I want to show you my amazing pencil cakes. Um, so if you follow me on Instagram, I posted the unboxing of um, of my pencil case and a lot of people asked me about it so I thought I would make a video um, about it so here it is so before I moved to this um, pencil case which is a new what's the name it's got kind of a weird name it's a new calm DG that's how you spell it it's a new calm DG pencil case I was using um, this one, so let me show you. This one worked very well for me for almost two years. It's a very basic one, but it was, uh, it's, it's, it's really big. Like, I could fit all of my uh, pencils in it. I got it in Italy. As you can see, you have two sections where you can put all your all your pencils, pens, whatever you need. And that worked very well for me till I started bullet journaling. So I started bullet journaling like uh, one year ago, more than one year ago, on September 2015. And at first I wasn't using that much, um, that many stationery, you know. I just had like some basic pens, so this worked really well for me. As I started to get more and more stationery, so I knew that I needed something that I could use to stay more organized. I've been using it for almost two months and I can say that it's pretty it's pretty solid. I'm really really happy about this product. It I, I bought it on Amazon. I'm gonna leave the um, the link in the description box below and uh, it got to me really fast in a couple of days so I was happy about that. I really, really like the color. As you can see, it's gray with this pattern here. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's got a really nice pattern in here. I did not realize, though, when I bought it, that it had these tiny, like, smiling faces on the side. Um, that doesn't bother me that much, I just wasn't expecting them. So I'm gonna show you guys every section of my pencil case so that you can see what I store in it. Okay, let's dive into it. The Newcom, Newcom, New, Newcom Digi, yeah, that's the name, has got four sections. One, two, three, four. So let's go over the first one. I'm gonna open it. So the first section is for the basic stuff. So here on this side I have my ruler, two pencils, a, um, a rubber, and this little guy. I used to have it here, but um, I realized that um, it was kind of complicated to close it. So in the end I decided to like keep it in, this, in the corner and it works really well for me. Uh, on this side, I have this nice pen from my school. I got a um, lettering pen, pilot lettering pen. I've just started lettering. I'm still not as good at it, but you know, I'm working on it. So these are my favorites. I am the Stadl Pigment uh, Liner. I use this for uh, bullet journaling. I have three of them. One uh, 0.4 and two 0.3. Then what do I have here? I have a dark um, Stadler pigment fine liner. I used to write a lot with this before starting to use the Stadler, and I still have this one, but I'm not really using it that much. Then I have these two Stabilo uh, fine liners. They are both. Uh, 0.4 I had a like stable phase before switching to Stadlers and um, uh, I'm they are okay like I'm not a really a fan of these fine liners because they smear a lot and I did not like it I have a regular what is it it's a pilot yes it's a pilot 
uh, ballpoint. I use it like for my math homework, you know, here. You know, if I want to write fast and, you know, I don't really care about, uh, I don't really care if it's not pretty, colorful, you know, it really works well for me. So let's move to the second section. Here's where I keep all the colors. I love this. I, I adore this part. So here it's where I keep all my um, Stadler Triplus uh, Fine Liners. These are my favorites. I use them um, for bullet journaling, but also for taking uh, notes. As you can see here, for example, this is my physics um, notebook, and I use them a lot, a lot, a lot, and uh, I, I just can't, can't survive without them. And I've got these ones as well. Uh, oops. They are Graph Peps. I'm not sure if you if you know this brand. They are really good as well. I I got only this four colors because I wanted to have uh, pastel colors, and um, they I'm they're really good and they're actually much cheaper than the Stadler um, fine liners. So you know if you wanna if you're looking for a nice cheaper alternative, I would definitely recommend these ones and they are triangular as well. So moving to the third part, I've got uh, my my liners on this side. I'm obsessed with these. Like they are so good. They are so good. My liners here, and uh, I love the fact that they have this side they can use for highlighting. Or draw color in with this other side, and they work really, really well. Yes. Here. I use them for highlighting and they are amazing, they are amazing. So I use them on a daily basis as well at university and um, they are very very useful. I'm looking forward to get uh, more colors, especially green, I miss the green. It bothers me that I don't have green. Then on this side I have my Koi uh, coloring brush pens. These ones are my favorite brushes so far. I use them a lot for coloring uh, in my in my bullet journal. So let me give you an example. So this is my current bullet journal. It's almost finished. I'm gonna move soon to the to this green little guy. And as you can see, yes, I for example my November log. I use the uh, I use the Koi brushes for, for the coloring here and in my in all my spreads. Then here I've got this one. This is a Lira Aqua Brush Duo. I wanted to try something different and this one is really, really, really good. The only concern I have is that these guys are kind of expensive, so... Um, I only got the yellow for the moment, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get more of these. Uh, these are more like professional brushes and um, since I'm on a low budget, you know, I, I like them but I can't really afford to have a lot of lots of them, but you know, that's alright. So moving to the last uh, part. See here on this side, I actually did this on purpose. I broke this two here so that I can feel so that I can fit in my scissor and um, and my um, how to say that the sharpener. The concern is that my sharpener was way too big, so I couldn't actually close this guy up, which is you know which kind of sucks, but. So here I have my um, Stabilo Aquacolor crayons. I use them on a daily basis um, uh, for my um, time log. So let me show it to you. As you can see here, I use these guys for my for my time log. So each color corresponds to a different activity. 
So I use them for, for regular coloring and you know it's a nice change uh, from brushes, fine liners, yes. Also I've got this guy here, I got it um, a couple of days ago and um, I wasn't sure what to do with it and I didn't know that it, that it was a permanent brush which is extremely strong and uh, this, this did not work well on my on my bullet journal because it goes a lot. See, I was writing something here on this page and you can see it here. So this is a brush that I guess you can use on like materials and um, like very hard stuff. I, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but you know, it's, it's here for the moment. So thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, do you use a uh, Newcom, Newcom DG pencil case as well? Which pencil case do you use, what do you keep in yours? So leave it in a comment below and I hope you all have a great weekend, see you soon, bye!